guys welcome back to more hogwarts legacy and now we're gonna see professor fick starting with part number seven let's do this and thank you very much oh you cannot be serious goblins asshole. working with rookwood makes no sense it is rather unorthodox to say the least unorthodox it's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Well, that was a very short quest. So let's find another, and uh, when I do, I'll see you right there. All right, so finally here, we had to go this much distance from the castle, and she's waiting for us over there. <sighs> It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Oh, yeah, check out my rope, yeah? So I found out just recently you can uh, equip any any gear that you want the highest offense and defense but you can act uh, actually uh, apply because the uh, uh, for example the this rope and cloak and scarf and all that it's a, it's a, all a, a set I was for uh, I don't know um, complete four main missions complete two main missions and you get uh, uh, one item 
one piece of clothing to be exact and this one looks really great just moving and skulls every day anyway I, dig I digress let's do this they want something I found they okay. want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts when were you at Gringotts just before we came to Hogwarts in fact it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony a port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage what on earth there's one more thing it's a bit odd if I'm honest Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but <clears throat> perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What? What's going on here? Where is she? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stay <laughs> Show you something. Chicken. Who is that? Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? A duel is here. Oh, what's this? Collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Alright, show me. Okay, where is it? Oh, is it in collection? Uh... Appearances, enemies. That's the one. Among the quicker of Rockwood's agents, these witches will surprise their opponents with a back to back attacks. Their powerful reductors cannot be blocked by shield charms, but interrupting that cast with a severing charm will spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one their own gang. Severing charm, what, what, what the hell is that? 
Well, let's try to do something. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this! You get off of my face! No, you will pay for it. Incendio. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturn Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. By the way, what you said? It's a lie. Or maybe the developers uh, didn't remember. I remember from the movies they said, okay, the, uh, the four founders, you know, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, blah, 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 Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, they found it that they said 1,000 years ago, so which was from Harry Potter, was when? 2,000. 1,000 years, yeah? So 1,000. And Merlin's m myth, Arthurian region, was when? 5th century. So Merlin was alive 500 years before this was built so lady what are you on about anyway this trunk yes take plenty even if you already have some i have the mallow suite lovely now notice the vines on these pillars here 
as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted Rebellion. territory. I am curious about these pyres. So Merlin's trial. What is this? Leviosa. No. Accio. No. Okay, though. Four. Pillars or something. Leviosa. Hmm. You've got the mallow sweet to work now. Now wait a what minute. Do you know about these pyres? One, two, three, four. Should be four. It's four on the on the ground. Where is number four? One, two, yeah, I see three. Incendio. What am I doing? Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. Aha. Uh -huh. Meaning, is there a combination to them or? Incendio. Didn't do that or what? Incendio. What the hell? So now what? What is that? Oh! What a day! I can hardly believe it. Merlin's bullsack, how beautiful. Where is it? It disappeared. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And should do be we need more? Here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and <clears throat> books. Trials of Merlin. Ooh, 260 XP. So Merlin challenges are that. Okay, it looks like a leaf. Mm, there's a chest. 
Oh, fishy, fishy. No? Revelio. Riga Blue. Wait a minute, there's another one. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. Uh, it's like a place right out of a storybook. We need an Alohomora. Yeah. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Alright, show me the map. Herbology. Let's go to a class. Okay, can we? It's the closest. Fast travel, anybody? Can. What is this? Wait a minute. Mysterious room beneath a restricted section. Okay. Library. Okay, let's travel there. It doesn't look like it's really far. Oh my god, I don't know why my controller keeps vibrating. Quest, we do that. We'll do that later. Herbology. Revelio. Maybe some kind of collectible. Nope. Page is flying. Kind of cool, huh? Greenhouses. Level one unlock. Oh, look at the green lady. Good morning, Professor Garlic. Wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Got it. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, 
Grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Jesus. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief... The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Putting table, Dittany, uh, the leaves of this uh, medicinal herb. Herb are used in Wigan World Potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neap and can be grown in pots of any size. Grow time 10 minutes, plant size, small plant. your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good jumping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Oh, hello. 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 Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? 
Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, nurse Blaney put it back on. Jesus. Trust me, you didn't. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Revelio. Plum story ready for the da, 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 da. You and then then tap L one, okay. Planted some Jesus. in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. As to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, I don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Will do, Professor. Oh, for a chat. Andrew, did you know that you can make anything grow? We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. All right, let's have a look at uh, what other quests do we have. Uh, potion glass. So that's where we go next. Side quests. Main. All right. Potion glass. My god, apparently, level four, I'm what, nine? Uh, ten. Ooh, 
Anyway, guys, I'm gonna finish the story here, and I'll see you in the potion class. Bye bye. Yeah.